Hi folks, Monkey Dicks Adventures. I'm uh, here at Rivy. I've just come on a different bike today. So uh, I'm on my C90. I've had this for about 12 years, but I've uh, just uh, put it through its MLT and got it back on the road. So I thought I'd bring it for a spin. So here is the C90. An absolute classic bike, these are. Got the thing set up on the back for me here. Uh, I mean, 360. But look at that. Viva the monkey revolution. And here comes Monkey Mark. Here he is! Viva! The monkey, the monkey revolution. revolution, all right brother. That's a blast. Nice blast to see you. Is. You're all right, brother. Hey, brother. Did live. Not so bad, look at that. Just show you them side by side. The monkey and the C90. From the same from the same historic family. So uh, folks, the regular viewers will know uh, no monkey mark. Howdy doody. Howdy doody doody. You alright mate? So Howdy tell well, us what mate. you've had done to your bike. Uh, yeah, in preparation for us going to Alaman next month, doing a bit of off-roading. <laughs> Put the Kenda big blocks on it. Fantastic, look at them. Brilliant mum, brilliant. They look smart then, don't they? How does it feel on the road with them on? Different. I'm getting used to it. Different good or different bad? Just different. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, that sounds a bit non-committal, that. Yeah, I'm on the fence yet. I've oh, yeah. well, let's with, hope you don't end up on the fence. Or in it. <laughs> I've started running it with lower tyre pressures today. Yeah. Then it's been a lot better. Looks smart, that. So, do you mind me asking how much they were? 160 quid fitted. For, for, for the pair? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. From SMD? Yeah, well, well my uh, my Kenda, normal Kenda back tyre was, uh, I think that was about £80 fitted, so about the same kind of price, folks. So, uh, if you're into a bit of off-roading, get these. So, we just got to Top Barn at Rivet, and uh, who should pop along? Little Spencer! Hiya, dude! How you doing? You're all right. All right, pal. And look at this now on his, on his new bike. Catty monster, and here's a monster. <laughs> Get that. Have you found it, Spencer? Fantastic. You good? Yeah. So Spencer's just on his way off. Listen to that. See you, brother. Beaver. Monkey Mark's going to try the uh, the C90. Here we go. Shabber. Oh, he's on. He's on. He's away. Now remember with this that uh, once you're in gear, if you if you took if you pull the thing back, you're going. Once it's in gear. Go forward until it turns green. Fantastic. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? That. Oh, he wants. He wants more. He wants a bit more. Here he goes. Shallow. Ninety Cub, 1987. Fever, the monkey revolution. Fever. <laughs> Fever. The monkey revolution. <laughs> <laughs>
there's an edge. Monkey Revolution. So Rob's just turned up on his uh, GS850. Right, brother. Viva. <laughs> you alright? I'm on my other toy today. C90. This is uh, Rob MR451's uh, BMW GS850. Look at that. Adventures just coming back from Rivy, and I've just bumped into a guy. Oh, sorry, what's your name? Jan. Jan. Jan the Handyman. Jan the Handyman. I'll show you him in a minute, but he's on this on the Zuma, cracking little bike. Look at this. Look at that. I love the uh, the seat and the, the gap underneath. Look at that. Yeah, you can get a little bag for it, and well, I've got a bag for it, which yeah. you can keep stuff in. And so, you Jan, where are you from, Jan? Uh, Smithles, Bolton. Oh, bro, that, that road is fantastic, isn't it, down to Smithles? I used oh, to do that on my CV100N when I was a kid. Great. Right. No, it's fantastic. No, it's beautiful, that, Jan. Yeah, so Jan's just going to start up the Zuma. So to start it up, you just press the brake, obviously turn the key, and then that's it. That's awesome, it isn't like it? an electric motor, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. Uh, you know, really quirky, aren't they? But again, Honda. They, they're fantastic, aren't yeah. they, with the, with the quirkiness? Yeah, they are. That's brilliant. I don't think they were popular here because I think they were very pricey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, Jan. Hello, Jan. Hello, Jan. Hello, Jan. Hello, Dixie's ledge. Maria. Beaver, the monkey revolution. You forget just how bumpy this uh, this road is to uh, to Dixie's ledge, but uh, made it again. So I'm out today on the uh, on the C90. So it's uh, a bike I've had for about uh, about 12 years now. Uh, I just put it through its MOT. Just want to make sure I've got a backup bike just in case anything happens to the monkey uh, prior to the uh, Isle of Man rally that we're doing on the 23rd of July. So, viva the monkey revolution. So I'm going to end the video here today, uh, guys and gals, just uh, running out of uh, SD space on my cards. So, uh, yeah, at uh, Dixie's Ledge, there, with, uh, with the C90, just so that this thing can, uh, can still get to these kind of places. Shabba. So I'll just give you a quick uh, run round on the uh, on the C90. Here we go. You'll see me forks are a different colour. They were looking a bit bad, so I uh, did some uh, underpainting. As I said before, in the Monkey Revolution, it doesn't matter what bike you're on, whether it's a, a C90 or a Monkey or a Grom, Benelli, etc. Just come and join the Monkey Revolution. Just come out with uh, us small ball riders and uh, have a good time. Viva!